Hey everybody, welcome back to Team Stitch and Sense. Today we are going to do a review on the new scents that are coming out in March. I am so excited about these scents. They have really, really stepped it up, I think, and listened to what we were asking for. So I am just can't wait to share these with you. Now remember, these won't be available for purchase until March 1st, but after that, have at it, order away, get a hold of your consultant, whoever she is, and or he and just get these scents because I know you're going to love them as much as I do. Okay, our first category that we're going to go through is our spring summer category and they really gave us a lot of new scents. There's eight new scents in the spring summer category. So remember that means we lost a few scents that aren't coming back. I know Tingello, Two Harbors, um, Pixie, Pink Cutie, those are a few that are not coming back. So Sorry if you didn't get those and you thought they would be back, but I think you're going to love what they replaced them with. So let's get started. I'm so excited. Pineapple Sorbet, and it smells just like it says. Now, I don't have the bars. I have the testers because we aren't even able to get the bars ourselves yet. But it is. It's got that really nice pineapple, light pineapple scent. It's got a little bit of vanilla to it. And let's just read what our description is. It's a sweet and tart like a refreshing scoop of pineapple sorbet. And pretty much that's what it smells like. Alrighty, let's start. Well, let's try doing it alphabetically, huh? <laughs> Aussie Plum. This one says, a melange of juicy plum, plum, pink, grapefruit, and tart pomegranate with a smooth vanilla. Okay, well, I, I probably really butchered that, but it smells good. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. If you like perfectly pomegranate, you'll love this. And I can pick up the pomegranate in it. It's a little, I don't think it's quite as sweet. And it's got a little more of that vanilla touch. So, But if you really like perfectly pomegranate, you're going to love Aussie Plum. Next one is By the Sea. And this one is really good too. The scent of ocean air wafting through dewy seaside grass. I love their descriptions for these. They really, but they're usually pretty much spot on too. And it is. It's it's got that really oceany scent. I mean, it it's really hard to describe, but it's got that scent of fresh, you know, like moisture and water in the air. It's it's amazing. Our next one is lemon verbena, which I really really like. I'm not usually that big of a fan of the lemon scents. They remind me too much of cleaners that they're out on the market. But this one. It's really nice. It's 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 got that lemony, but it's not that I want to say fake lemon smell, but it's really nice. If you love lemon scents, you're gonna love it. Nashi nectar. This one goes right along with our simply nashi pear. They're doing different ones for um, apparently that Asian theme. I don't know, but it's just really a good scent. Let me see here. It's a sparkling citrus and crisp nashi pear balanced in perfect sweetness. And I really like it. it it's actually, I'm going to say it's a little bit perfumey, but not much. And it's weird because it's a not. It's supposed to be a fruit scent, but I think most people are going to love it. Let's see. Pear Blossom. And so if you hear my bird in the background, she's you know we just got back the other day so she's hanging out on her cage and checking things out again because she was over at Ashley's house pear blossom again it's it's got that floral scent to it so if you like that and it's not heavy and that's one thing I like about it and let's read what it says about it it's a sweet nashi pear tossed with the light florals and cool berries so it's got that pear but it's got a little bit of floral scents to it as well um, Polynesian Dreams. And this was my favorite out of all the new ones. And I'm going to read this to you because it's just, to me, it's amazing. It's Pier Island Indulgence, Lush Honeydew, Kiwi, Papaya, and Blossoming Hibiscus. It is absolutely Hawaii. It is, and I love Hawaii. So for me, oh, I love it. It's just really an amazing scent. And it's not overly powerful with like the florals because sometimes that just doesn't work for me. Now one of the ones that is really surprised to me that they brought out and a lot of people were really shocked about it. And If you grow tomatoes you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's tomato vine. And it essentially earthy summer scent. Robust ripe tomato vine. 
and it does smell just like the greens on the tomato. Like if you go out there and pick a tomato and you rub against that and it gives off that tomato scent. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. You have to smell this. I think it would be amazing in a kitchen. So that is our new scents for spring and summer. Now we do have a few other ones that are in other categories. Our next one is Romance and Peony Petals. I like this one too. It's Peony Rose Petals Dance on a Soft Breeze. And again, I'm not a big floral fan, but I love this one. This one's really light. It's got that peony scent. It's got a little touch of rose in there. And it's soft and it's delicate. It's not overpowering. So if you like this, the floral scents, but you think sometimes they hit you too hard, this one's a perfect one for you. Now, we don't have anything new in Corner Cafe. Scentsy Man, we have two new ones, and we we lost. Um, Zephyr was discontinued, and I'm trying to think of what the other one is off the top of my head. I can't think of it right now. But please, you know, check those discontinued lists because you can still get them this month, but the next month they are gone. Um, Atlas Cedar. This one is complex blend of cedar, patchouli, a dash of black pepper, the essence of intrigue. Now, I'm not a fan. This is probably one of the only ones that are new that I'm just not feeling it. But I do not care for the smell of patchouli, so that probably kills it. Yep. Mm -mm. Not doing it for me. Sorry, guys. If you love the scent, that's great. But Atlas Cedar, not my, not my scent. Now, this one is Shaka, and it's classically cool, rich sandalwood infused with a splash of bergamot and lime. This one, I don't mind. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the man scent, so, but it's a lot lighter, and out of all of them, it's probably one that I don't mind the most, so. Um, next, we have the Simply Nashi Pear, and that is our scent trend of the year, and this one we got before, and I really like it. It's it's crisp, well-balanced note of pure sweet pear, and it's pear. You smell it, and it's just, but it's almost like it's got a little bit of, like, a rain scent to it, I guess. It's like almost like thunderstorm was in it with it too. But I like it. I mean, I like it a lot better than what we we've had some other ones. So, <laughs> all right. And now on to the next. We have nothing new and tropical, but in spa we have two new ones: rosemary mint. It's a soothing mint and tea. tea in can't talk here. Soothing mint and tea tree cool over soft vitalizing rosemary. And I really like this one. I wasn't sure I was going to, but I do. And you, it's that mint, but you get that touch of rosemary in there. I think it's a really nice scent. It's perfect, like, for bathroom or spa, you know. If you love those kind of scents, I think you're going to like it. Our last one is Zen Garden. A dewy sweet bloom of ripe honeydew, soft prisia, and water lotus. And lotus, sorry. <laughs> and I really like this one. I'd say between the two of them, this is probably my favorite out of the spa. And again, you know, some of them, you just don't, I don't know. I mean, there's ones in, in spa that I'm like, well, most of them I guess I like now, except for Serene Green. I'm not a fan of Serene Green. But this one, I really like the Zen Garden. And it, it's, again, like, they're going away from those hit you in the head kind of scents that, you know, you feel like you need to air out the house for an hour before it starts smelling good. I, and I know a lot of you like those, and we still have a lot of those in the catalog. So do not freak out and go, oh, my gosh, since he's taken away all my favorite sets. That's not an issue. I'm just thinking a lot of the new ones that they're bringing in are more for those of us that don't really want that extreme bang, pow, scent. And, you know, they last long and everything just like they normally would, but it's just not so extreme. I guess that's the best way to put it. So remember, if you want any of these amazing scents that are brand new, you're going to have to wait till March 1st before you can order from your favorite Scentsy consultant. But hey, why not sign up and join yourself? This way you can get the order them whenever you want. You can order right away on March 1st if you want or wait, whatever. But $99 and you're going to get your your all your testers you're going to get these testers, so you're going to be able to smell them right away. I mean, the kits generally go out within a few days. You've got them within the first week, unless there's something really crazy happens. But generally, they they go out very, very quick. 
you're going to get all your um, fall and winter stuff because that's still good and people can still order from it. We got the 10% off, but then you're going to get your new stuff too and the new catalogs too. So you're going to get, I think it's about $35 worth of extra business supplies for free. So why not? This is a great time to sign up our 10 year anniversary. Um, I'd love to have you on my team. We have such a great team and uh, I just, I got to brag on my team all the time because they are an amazing group of women. We haven't officially gotten a guy yet. We're kind of waiting on that. So come on guys. I think you guys are afraid to be in our team because us women are going to like show you up or something. Just a little bit of a, a challenge there for you guys. So if you're thinking, wow, you know what, maybe this is the time to do something for me and have some fun and I tell you it was the best $99 I ever spent and that inc even includes the ride along that I did last week for with NASCAR <laughs> this 99 much better so if you're interested please message me otherwise my info is always below and I hope to see you on our team in 2014